Hi, Crystal here. I just wanted to share with you some dreams I've been having and I've had this really great urgency to share and I'm just running out of excuses. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Um, but before I do, I wanted to address a few concerns that might come up. So, um, <clears throat> the first passage I wanted to read is Acts 2.17. So, just for some context, this was Peter's sermon on Pentecost when a bunch of people were speaking in tongues and everyone was wa wondering what was happening. Uh, so, Peter was saying to the crowd, this is what was spoken of through the prophet Joel. And it shall be in the last days, so in other words, back then, was considered the last days as is right now. And since obviously we are not past the last days, um, God says that I will pour forth of my spirit on all mankind, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Um, so in other words, this is saying prophecy cannot have ceased yet, um, by the way, since we're still in the last days. Um, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. So, I'm not an old man. And uh, so I just wanted to address that a little bit. <clears throat> um, but notice it doesn't say only old men. Or it doesn't say <clears throat> only young men will see visions so or only sons and daughters shall, shall prophesy so I just wanted to address that a little bit um, so why does it say specific people um, I'm not totally sure and I read some commentaries on that and um, I wasn't totally happy with what they were explaining. So anyways, I had another passage to read here that's kind of similar. So it's found in 1 John 2.12. I'm writing to you, little children, because your sins have been forgiven you for his name's sake. I'm writing to you, fathers, because you know him who has been from the beginning. I am writing to you, young men, because you have overcome the evil one. I have written to you, children, because you know the Father. And so it goes on a little bit, but just so you kind of get the idea, it talks about little children, young men, then in the other passage, it talks about old men and daughters and, and sons. So. So why does it do this? Um, I'm just thinking it's because it's trying to wake people up and kind of, and instead of like naming names, it's saying, hey, you, wake up, you, 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 your daughter, you, son, you, father, come on, children, let's go, wake up, I'm talking to you. So that's just, that's what I think it was talking about. Um, so, Conclusion is, if you have a dream that's significant, you don't have to be an old man. <laughs> and the second conclusion that I've made um, is prophecies are not dead. Some people think they are, and, you know, if they want to believe that, sure. But just be careful, because the Bible does not say that they're dead. So we have to go with what the Bible says. All right, talk to you later.